devastation in Greece after deadly wildfires. You can see several buildings, grass, trees, blackened and charred. Well, tonight, more than 80 people are confirmed dead. Hundreds more are seriously injured. And now a local community is coming together to send some help. Thanks for staying with us. I'm John Muller. And I'm Tamsin Fidel. Well, New York is home to a large Greek community, and they help however they can in the wake of this tragedy. That's what they want to do. Thanks so much, Marvin Scott is live in Astoria, Queens, with more on the story for us. Hi, Marvin. Hi, you know, certainly those wildfires have devastated a popular seaside resort area near Athens. And though the flames are out now, the emotions are burning right here, 5,000 miles away in Astoria. This is home to many of New York's Greek Americans. Astoria is a close-knit community. Summer is a popular time for many who live here to vacation along Greece's seaside resorts, not far from the apocalyptic wildfires that have now killed more than 80 people. And with untold numbers still missing, the death toll is expected to rise. Reports indicate as many as 3,000 homes have been destroyed. People have lost everything. Toothpaste. Yep, As the embers continue to flicker, humanitarian efforts are underway worldwide. Collections of necessities here in Astoria, where emotions run deep. We are very concerned uh, because there's a lot of relatives living back in Greece, but there's also a lot of friends and family from here visiting Greece this time of year. So everybody has come together to donate items and send their first aid supplies, blankets, baby items, so we're all pulling together. Lou Aguirres is president of Nine Hugs Organization, an acronym for Hug Us, Give and Share. She was born here but grew up in Greece. She's haunted by the images of the devastation. There are no words to, to describe pain. These are familiar places that we grew up in uh, being, you know, young vacationing there. Those were both uh, vacation areas. I have no words. We're very saddened. And it's very difficult being so far away. Friends are describing the horror created by the wildfires, and they've been sending her pictures to her cell phone. Chris Giannakis is helping to organize a collection of necessities at his restaurant Friday night. They need toiletries, they need batteries, they need flashlights, um, you know, um, underwear, towels, basic, basic necessities at this point. Basic necessities. Uh, Chris will open his Ovilia restaurant here on 30th Avenue Friday night at 10:30 to begin the first aid collection drive that will continue throughout the weekend. And they hope out here to get all those necessities on a plane to Greece early next week. We're live tonight in Astoria. Marvin Scott, Fix 11 News. John Tapson. Every bit of help is needed right now, Marvin. Thank you so much. Well, meantime.